Hi everyone, welcome to Solar Integrations. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full install of the Solarman SunSync um, integration from Keller ZA. Um, it's been a little bit of a while coming. Um, I have been away, so I apologize for the delays. Um, this is a great option for those of you um, that are getting going in um, integrations into Home Assistant for your inverter. And uh, this integration gives you a great upgrade path. Um, it uh, speaks directly to the Solarman Wi-Fi dongle and it would be my recommended option um, if you do have a Solarman Wi-Fi dongle and you don't want to go around buying any hardware because um, it will speak to the dongle directly and it will also allow you to write settings back to, the to your inverter which you can't do with the standard Solarman integration. Um, it also, there is also an upgrade path that will allow you to use either a USB to RS485 adapter um, or you can get a, a, a bridge, an RS485 bridge device, either using a Raspberry Pi with some custom firmware on it or alternatively um, you can buy a Wi-Fi bridge for your RS485 so you can have your um, home assistant uh, separate to your inverter. But um, it's a great option and um, I would recommend having a look at it. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. If you've got any questions, please leave them in uh, comments. And I'd appreciate it if you uh, like and subscribe my video. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. We'll see you after the break. Okay, I've got a, a bare home assistant here. It's had nothing installed. The first thing we're going to need to do is to set up our MQTT uh, broker um, that gets the information from the uh, from the integration into Home Assistant and it all works over the MQTT. Um, if you haven't used it before, I'd recommend checking it out. It's a, it's a great um, way of uh, bringing information into Home Assistant from other MQTT devices. Very easy to set up. We go to our add-on store. It is in as uh, default in add-on in your add-on store. It's called Mosquito Broker. You install that. Um, the other thing we're going to want to do is to set up a, a user for our uh, MQTT so that we've got a secure a secure connection. Um, we're going to set that up over here. If we go down to people, we want to add a new user. Um, let's call it MQTT underscore user um, and allow the person to log in. Um, we just need to create a secure password for that. I'm just going to use um, password because this is my um, demonstration server. Um, and um, I would recommend to can, uh, can only log on from your local network. Go create, create. Okay, so we have got our um, Mosquito Broker installed. What I'd recommend you do then is just reboot your, um, restart your server. Um, just let that go through. Okay, once it's, in, once it's set up, whoops. Go back onto add-ons. Let's start our mosquito broker. We can just check in the logs that it started. I'll turn watchdog on as well. Okay, so that's started. Now we go into integrations. Um, check our MQTT there. Yes. And we want to configure that, um, reconfigure, and we put in our um, username and password over here, um, MQTT and MQTT underscore user and my password. Click on next. Um, you can enable the discovery automatically of Home Assistant, which uh, you can basically leave all of this to default. Um, and that should all be working now. Um, so we've got our MQTT installed and configured. Okay, so now we want to install your Hans um, integration. Um, you are going to need the serial number 
and of your uh, Wi-Fi dongle if you're going to be connecting using the SolarMain Wi-Fi dongle and you're also going to be needing the serial number of your inverter you can get this um, from your um, your SolarMain software it's probably the easiest place to get it from um, if you just go into SolarMain you'll be able to pick it up otherwise you can go and have a look on your um, on your uh, device itself but you'll get your inverter serial number over there and your logger serial number over there so very easy to uh, to get that information for the uh, for the installation okay so once you've got your serial numbers um, you're going to want to go into um, the SunSync. Uh, I'll include the links to the github page for the integration um, you want to copy that URL go into your um, add-ons in home assistant add-on store you're going to need to add in a repository for the uh, integrations because it's not in the standard add-on store so we're going to add that uh, let's just close there what you'll see it you're going to have to refresh your page so that you can see the integrations at the bottom once you refresh it um, you want to add this one over here um, if um, this installation is just going to be using the SolarMan dongle, um, if you want to add in a, with a Modbus gateway or something like that, you're going to need to um, have a look at the documentation. Um, Johan's got pretty good documentation on, a, on his uh, integration. And if you can't find the answers to your questions there, then speak to the guys on the Power Forum. Um, there's a very active thread over there as well. Um, we're just going to install the, the multi um, version of it. Let's just go through that installation. Okay. Once that's finished installing, um, we're going to need to get our um, serial numbers that we've saved. Let's move that over there. Okay, so that's finished. Um, in, I'm going to just set it for Watchdog. Um, the nice thing about this as well is that um, Johan does maintain it in the GitHub page. So your code will be updated every time he updates as well if you set it for auto update. Um, it's probably a good idea to do that. Um, the, the online documentation he's got over here, it's got a nice um, online documentation page. Um, configuration okay so we want to put in um, for uh, the SolarMan dongle um, the serial number for the for the inverter let's get that again device okay don't like me doing it that way copy that There's my dongle it's not cooperating hold on logger there we go going over there like that then um, this port over here is going to be the port that the Wi-Fi dongle is on you can usually get that from your um, router or um, just thinking of the other ways you could find out what the IP address is of your probably on your router is going to be the best place and then um, if you fix that IP address so it doesn't wander around as well um, you usually can do that in your um, giving it a fixed IP address in your uh, uh, in your router software. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, I'd suggest you check 
your uh, for YouTube videos on your the manufacturer of your of your router. Unfortunately, they change from router to router, but you can usually assign a fixed IP address. Okay, so my uh, my um, Wi-Fi dongle is at 192.168.1.1. .69 port um, okay the you need to add the port onto it um, that is at port 8899 is default 8899 um, we've got a single phase uh, inverter and I'm just going to leave all of this as default um, the only thing that we are going to change is how often we're going to read because we're going to be reading from the dongle um, from the wife from the solar main Wi-Fi dongle so I'm going to want to increase that to um, 15 and um, I need to select a default uh, port it doesn't actually use this over here but it needs the um, it needs to have the um, the port set up and then my MQTT is MQ, sorry, uh, username MQTT underscore user, password is password, okay, let's check that's all right, and then save, okay, let's just go and double check everything, um, that all looks good. And let's just check. Let's see if we can start it. And let's see if it'll start. Looks like it's starting. There's the log. Um, invert to serial number. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, it's pulling all of that stuff. Looks like it's getting all the information from the dongle. Let's go and double check. If we go into developer tools, states, and we go to sunsync there we go it's connected um, if i go into integrations what i can do into device okay so there's all my settings there's all the stuff that it's reading from the inverter and i can add this stuff to the dashboard um, let's just get a dashboard that we can actually take control over. Edit dashboard, take control. Okay, let's go back there. Um, integrations, device. So let's just add all of this stuff to the dashboard. Add to the dashboard. Add to the dashboard. Okay, and there's the logbook, what's happening. So if we go back to our dashboard now, um, the one of these is from, I added it earlier, so I'm just going to delete this one. Okay, so there we have our, um, all of the stuff which is reading from the, um, from the inverter directly. And um, that's all up and running. If you guys um, want to then customize your dashboard and be, um, be able to, um, you can write your settings back using this over here. Um, there's a great video on, um, on setting up the solar dashboards, which look like, let me just show you, like this over here which will give you a live view of what's coming from the inverter. Um, this, is, uh, this is a great option as well. It allows you to customize all your data. I've got some videos on that and I'll include a link to that video um, at the end here. So if you want to customize your sensors at all, there is in the documentation some, uh, some instructions on how to set that up. Um, I'll include a link to that as well for you guys. So maybe you want to set up uh, PV3 and PV4 or um, 
the some of the sensors that you want to use that aren't included in the in the default settings for either the single phase or the three phase inverter you can customize all of that yourself um, the documentation i'll include a link to that um, if you do get stuck and you can't work it out then uh, just ask on the power forum and then and um, uh, Johan will be able to help you there i'm sure hope you enjoyed the video if you did and you find it useful and you're not subscribed please subscribe and um, uh, if you can like the video i'd appreciate it and thanks for all the support guys see you next time